Hey guys, it's Simon, and today's video is how to scan options on the Thinkorswim platform. So we're on the Charts tab right now, and we're going to click over to the Scan tab. And everybody's familiar with the Stock Hacker, which allows you to add filters and study filters to um, to scan for stocks that fit a certain criteria that you look for in order to trade. Well, right next to it is the Option Hacker. And that's what we're going to be focused on in this video. So if you click on Option Hacker, I'm going to go through this real quick with the with buttons and some of the functionality of this, but I actually have a pre-made scanner that I use and I'm going to load that in. But once I load that in, you can actually see the settings I have and you can actually recreate it if you want to. So in order to, I'm going to close these two out. I'm actually going to delete everything and start from scratch. So what we want to do is we're going to look right underneath Option Hacker and you'll see a scan in. And scan in, there are certain categories. You can scan in all stocks all funds, but what we want to do is all optionable, which means that any stock that has options that are available with that stock, because not all stocks have options. Um, next to it is something that we're going to use here in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what that is. If you want to intersect with something, so I actually have a pre-made watch list and this watch list has about a hundred stocks on it. I'm going to show you this right here. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go up to market watch. I have my watch list here. And this watch list is actually called default because I actually named it that. And it's mostly mid to large cap stocks. It's um, high volume stocks, very popular stocks um, with quite a bit of movement. And these are the ones I kind of focus on when I'm when I'm trading options. So if you'll go through the list here, I mean, there's Microsoft in here, um, Apple, Google, Amazon, Boeing. So these are stocks that I keep an eye on on a regular basis. I don't watch all of these stocks daily, but I do use this. Um, I, I use the net change a lot, see which ones had the highest gains, which ones had the the most loss. And I kind of focus a lot on the most loss. Um, and then on the higher high gain ones, I also keep an eye on to see if there's any um, position, uh, put position you can actually jump in on. So anyway, so this, this watch list that I have is actually going to be used in the scan. So when you go to the intersect with, you can actually load your watch list. So I'll load the watch list that I just made. It's called default. I'll click that. And so if I hit scan now, and I'm actually going to change this to stocks. If I hit scan now, it'll actually bring up that exact watch list because I have no filters on this at all. So this is actually specifically what we're going to be searching within this watch list. We're going to be adding filters or a scan, a preset scan um, query. And so it'll only search through the specific watch list that I loaded. But since I'm going to be loading a preset scanner, and this one's called Option Alpha, if you'll see up on the top where it said Intersect With, it actually removed that. So what I want to do is put that back in and go to Default again. So now we have our, our scanner and then this list is what it's going to be scanning for. And so let's kind of go through what the scanner does. So on the first one, I have Delta and I have it at negative 42, negative 42 cents to maximum of 42 cents. And this is kind of the options that are either in the money or close to being in the money. And then next to that, we'll have days of expiration. I just noticed that that's actually 30 to 60, I, 31 to 60. I, I guess I might have, I was going to type 30 to 60. I don't know why I did that. But um, 30 to 60 is about the expiration date that I'm usually looking for when I'm buying options. Underneath that is volume. And this volume says 500 to max. And this volume is not the same volume that you're looking at when you're looking at stock volume. It's not the 100,000 to millions of um, volume that we're looking for. This is actually just the volume for the options. So if you actually went to the trade tab and you looked at one of the options list, you can see the volume here, which is right on this. The volume, which is this column and this column. So this is the volume that we're actually looking at. We're not looking at the volume of the actual stock. So we go back to the scanner and then open interest and open interest is 
the more open entrance you have, the more chance that you'll actually have to sell, buy and sell your option when you want to buy and sell your option. So if you're day trading an option premium and you want to sell it at the specific price at that specific time, and the more open interest you have, the better chance that you're going to have to actually do that. And there's not going to be as much price fluctuation where you don't have to wait until the price hits, until there's somebody's actually interested in buying your option premium. So that's fairly important too. So now that we have everything the way that we want it, we're actually going to hit scan. And now we have one, two, we have eight stocks that fit our criteria. And then what I would do here is actually I would go to the top right hand of this actual box and we can actually save this as a watch list. And so I would save this since Monday is going to be the 24th, I think, of June, correct? I'm actually going to change this to 0624 2019. So that automatically saves this to a watch list so you don't have to add it each one separately. And once that's done, let's go back to scanner. You could actually open this up under your... And then we can actually, we can we can we can actually uh, take a look at these and do a little bit of due diligence. And the other thing that we can do is we can actually go to where this chart is. It has a little red symbol link. We can actually click on the red symbol link here too, which is right. Okay, we'll pull this out. We'll make this a little easier on ourselves. We'll pull this out, and we'll click on this little red symbol link. So it's actually linked there. So these two are actually linked. So if this was actually yellow, we can click on this and being yellow. And so what happens there is actually, if you click on Tesla, it'll bring up, this chart is actually linked to this now. I'm just gonna take it back to the original one, red one. Or you can unlink it. If you unlink it, if you let's see, unlink it, and if you unlink it, when you click on Tesla, nothing happens, Facebook, VIX. But if you link it again to the actual main chart, if you click on anything here, it'll bring it up in there. And that's where we would do our due diligence and then choose the different options that we would uh, be looking at to purchase um, an opening bell. Now, if we go back to the scan tab, we can take our scan that we just did and we can actually save that. If I hadn't already saved it as something, we can save it. So let's go to this here on the top right, right next to the sizzle index um, icon, not sure what that is. And we'll save a scan query and we'll call this, you can call this whatever you want to. And then once you save it, then when you go back next time and you do a load scan query under your personal um, option, uh, you'll have your saved scan query. So I don't have to redo it every single time. And then you can edit it also, um, that's under here. And you can edit the specific one and make whatever changes you wanna make. The other thing I wanted uh, to show you too is under the scan is that right now we're looking at stocks, but you can also look at options or stocks and options. So if I go to options and click scan, it'll actually bring up under those those same stock um, tickers, it'll bring up the actual options that fit exactly what your scanner does. So you can actually click on one of these and see and buy this or sell this, um, or you can add this to a watch list that and then open that up under here and then you can if, since it's linked we'll go to the charts again and we'll click on one and this will be the actual option so you see the price if you take a look at this, this is actually a SPY, which is um, S&P 500, and that trades around um, 200 and I think it's $290 or something like that. So if you look at it right here, you're actually looking at 175 to 182. This is actually the specific option for that, that fits your, um, your criteria that you're looking for. So this is kind of the basics on how to do an option scan in Thinkorswim. Um, I'll be making more videos obviously later if you have any questions comments please post them i answer every single one and if there's anything that you specifically want to see in a video comment that and i'll put it on the list of things to do so i hope that helps you give you a better idea on what the on scanning functionality for options on the thinkorswim platform thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video